Welcome to Apex Infection Prevention and You podcast. Apex Infection Prevention and You campaign educates healthcare providers and consumers about the importance of infection prevention. Learn more by visiting www.apic.org slash infection prevention and you. Today we're going to be talking about how patients and families can break the chain of infection. And breaking the chain of infection is the 2016 theme of International Infection Prevention Week. It takes place October 16th through the 22nd. There are many different germs inside and outside of healthcare settings. These germs spread in a variety of different ways. For example, germs can spread from person to person and from objects to people. So, It takes a chain reaction of events for these infections to spread to others. And the way to stop germs from spreading is by interrupting the chain. So when you go into a hospital or other healthcare setting to receive care, you do become vulnerable to catching these infections. But the good news is that you can stop the chain of infection by knowing the top infection prevention basics. So first, Speak up for your care. The best way to stay healthy while visiting a hospital or other healthcare facility is to speak up. Your doctors, your nurses, and other members of your care want you to have a voice in your care. So ask questions, voice concerns, make sure you're comfortable with the care you're getting while you're in the healthcare facility and even when you're out. Also, be sure to clean your hands often. It's the number one way to prevent the spread of infections It is okay to ask healthcare professionals, family members, visitors, and others to clean their hands if you have not seen them do it. Ask about safe injection practices. Now, safe injection practices are steps that your healthcare provider should follow when they give you any kind of injections. It's very important to remember one needle, one syringe, only one time. Ask to have your room or equipment cleaned. This is an extremely important way for germs to be passed if a surface is not clean. So be sure to speak up and have your room and equipment cleaned if they appear dirty or on a regular basis. Also, be sure to ask about your medications. It's really important because you need to know what they're for, how to take them, how long you should take them, and how often you should take them. And If you're taking antibiotics, take them exactly as prescribed, even if you start to feel better. Using antibiotics the wrong way can cause bacteria to grow into superbugs. Ask about vaccines. You need vaccines to stay healthy. A majority of Americans who die each year from vaccine-preventable diseases are actually adults. Vaccines are among the safest medical products available. So be sure to check and make sure that you and your family members have all of the vaccines you need. And also, know about infection preventionists. Infection preventionists are often called germ sleuths. They work every day to protect your safety. It's their number one priority. Infection preventionists partner with your healthcare team to make sure everyone is doing the right thing to keep you safe from healthcare associated infections. It's important to know about HAIs, also called healthcare-associated infections. Now, these are infections that patients can get while receiving treatment for medical or surgical conditions. No matter where you are, in a hospital, in a long-term care facility, outpatient surgery center, dialysis center, doctor, everywhere, you are at risk for infections. And often, these infections are preventable, so know what to look out for. To learn more about Infection Prevention in You and International Infection Prevention Week, visit www.apic.org slash infection prevention in you. Thanks so much for listening.